everyone, welcome back. So today I have a video on the new Makeup Geek foiled lip glosses and pigments. So Makeup Geek recently launched, let me tell you, 10 shades of foiled lip gloss and they are $15 each. And then there's a bundle for all 10 of the shades for $110, so you're gonna save 26%. And then foiled pigment singles, and those are $12 each. The bundle for all of the 12 shades is $95. So I received these from Makeup Geek and I am affiliated with them, so I will link all the products down below. If you use those links to purchase the products, that, that does give me a commission a portion of the sale. So if you're not comfortable with that, you can just head over to the Makeup Geek website and find them yourselves. If you do choose to use my link, I always appreciate it. So let's get into the swatches, because I know that's what you came for. I got these in the mail, and I was like, okay, here's the deal. I'm not a huge fan of the metallic lip. I'm not. I'm glad that they're lip glosses as preferable to liquid lips because I feel like liquid lips all over the lip looks kind of funny to me and when they dry matte and then they're hard to move, they're just not my thing. But the foiled lip glosses, I was like, hmm, that's interesting because you could just use a little bit in the center of your lip and kind of mix and match the color. I'm going to do a lip swatch video of these. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe I should. Nah, I'm going to. Okay, I'll swatch them on my lips for you because I feel like that's going to be the way that's going to help you guys the most to show them on the lips. So I'm going to do it. But I do have one of them in VIP swatched in the middle of my lips right now. So anyways, first I'm going to do the foil pigments. Then I'm going to do the lips glosses. So let's just get started on the video because I'm so impressed by these foil pigments. They apply beautifully. I'm wearing one on my eyes today in Gargoyle. It's gorgeous and foiled and like so like opaque like beautiful like it goes on and it's just beautiful I mean really outdid the they like makeup geek really outdid themselves with with these foil pigments so I really am excited to show them to you so let's just zoom in get some swatches going and I can show you the incredibleness of the pigments this is the box that the pigment comes in, if you care. I just thought I would show it to you. It's a really pretty box. Makeup Geek did upgrade their pigment containers. These are what they look like. They do have like a gunmetal top. This first pigment is in the shade Telepathic. And it looks like it's just like this beautiful yellowish, yellowish shift to it. Like a yellow white. All of the pigments have this tiny little hole which makes it nice, that sounds dirty, but it makes it nice when you are using a pigment to have like a nice little sifter thing like this so that you're not spilling it and dumping it everywhere. Okay, swatched, this has almost like this pink shift to it, but it really has this like pinky, pinky shift to it. Oh, it's so pretty. Even you can see it on my finger. It has that like pink shift to it. I love this one. This color is called Hocus Pocus and it's just this beautiful rose gold. This is what Hocus Pocus looks like. Super duper pretty. Ooh, baby, baby. This one is Gargoyle. This is what I have on my lids. It's almost like a bronzy taupe. This is what Gargoyle looks like. Such a beautiful, like, bronzy taupe color. I love it. So, like, depending on what light you hit it at, it's like a taupe, and then it's like a bronze. So, I love this shade. This shade is like a mint shade, and it is called Abra Cadabra. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, light, mint shade. with almost like this, like, silver reflect. This shade is called Illusion, which I think it was named that because it looks like it's a light pink. But when you put it on, it looks like almost like a white gold peach. So there is Illusion. So you think it's pink and then it's white gold. Love this shade in Illusion. It's really pretty foil. This shade is called Tin Man and it's almost like a silver lilac shade. Super pretty, but as you can see, it's like you think it's gonna be silver, but it's just like this really pretty, like lilac-y, iced lilac. 
This green shade is called Voodoo. How crazy green is this? Oh my goodness, it's almost like a neon green. Super interesting. I probably won't get a lot of use out of this, but it is a fun color to have in your collection. This next shade is called Super Natural. I had to switch hands because the green stained my other hand. Look at this shade. Oh, it's the super pretty like bronzy, deep bronze reddish shade. I love the color of this. I'm pretty much in love with most of these. If I'm not, I'll tell you. I'm probably not going to get use out of it. That's what I'll say. The green one though stained. This one so pretty. This shade in Firefly is this gorgeous like corally orange metallic beautifulness. Absolutely love this one. Oh, so pretty. This next shade in Intermission is a true bronze, I would say. It's just a very nice, warm, but, but true goldeny bronze shade. This color in Enchanted is like a mauve purple shade. Really pretty. This color in Atlantis is like a Cinderella blue metallic. Okay, so that was it for the pigments. Now let's on, move on to the foiled lip glosses. The first, this is what the packaging looks like. And all of the boxes have like this ombre and then the top is like matching to whatever color is in the box. But this is the lightest of all of the shades. This is called VIP and it's, I love the packaging of these like slim with this like purpley sparkle top. These are very moussey when applied. They don't have any type of scent to them. They're like, I would say they're like almost like a liquid lipstick, but like a, like they're not like a sticky, sticky gloss, like gl really glossy. They're almost like a liquid lipstick, but like a velvety liquid lipstick that's metallic because it doesn't really feel like a, like a gloss. It just feels like how a, creamy lipstick would feel when applied. This first one is VIP and it's almost like a peachy metallic shade. Really pretty. I like this one probably the best out of all. This is the one I would probably get the most wear out of. Okay, this shade is called Set List. It is like a rose metallic shade. I probably wouldn't wear it. Just like I said, foiled metallics aren't my thing. But if you are into metallic lips, they feel pretty comfortable on the lips. Um, I don't, this one feels a little bit more sticky. They're hard to take off the swatches of the hand. Maybe they are a little bit more glossy and emollient than I originally thought, but this one is Set List. Okay, this shade I think is really pretty and this is mixed tape. I would probably wear this one to be honest because it's not super duper foiled. It's just almost like got a little sheen to it in my opinion. And it's like a deeper, deeper, more dusty, type of a plum shade. These are like a weird formula. They're really tricky to apply the way that they feel. I'm not quite sure. This one's called Headliner. I don't know if I love it. This is more of like a bronze shade. I don't know if I like this formula. Um, I don't, I can't describe it. It's almost like, it's almost like it's, it's really hard to get accuracy, but it's super creamy I can't I can't explain it but it's hard it's like a thicker but it's like hard to get it's not like goopy but it's hard to get right on the lines it almost has like a really super emollient but not like glossy I don't know how to describe it but I don't know if I love the formula it's interesting so this one, anyways, is a headliner. It's like a deeper burgundy. This one's pretty. It's an acoustic. This is one that you would need a lip liner with because when you get it up to the lip lines, it kind of feathers a little bit. But I do like this color. Acoustic. This shade is a backstage and it's like a deep metallic plum shade. Okay, this one is a replay. I probably wouldn't wear this one. It's just a little bit too bright and too like metallic-y for me or foiled for me. Let me just tell you, there's something in these that's like, makes them so tacky to get off even. Like, if they like smear, it's almost like it's like oil product, but like, I literally 
rub and rub and rub and it just spreads like nothing I have to rub my hands so hard rub my lips so hard to get every single one of these off <laughs> I don't know I'm sorry I don't think I like these at all if I were to you and I would want to pick one up I would just get the the VIP shade okay this shade is called the vinyl and this is a swatch it's almost like a gray metallic this shade was really hard to get on the lip lines. Uh, it is called Drumroll. And it's almost like this like purpley pink fuchsia. This is like a bright Barbie pink and it's called Groupie. Very bright metallic fuchsia-y pink and it has that like shift to it. So I would definitely get the foiled pigments. They're beautiful and I, like I said I'm wearing the one today and I love the way that it applied. Dry and wet, they both apply amazingly. So the metallic lips, I'm just not a metallic lip fan, so they wouldn't be something to purchase for me, but if they are for you, there are a ton of sh fun shades in that line. So I will leave all the products linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.